Hey everyone, this is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And I wanted to take a little time. We were doing a live class the other day and we started talking about this pattern and I realized I really hadn't done any video or anything on this pattern and wanted to take a little time to do this. Now, if you know me, you know I my trading is very, very simple. I keep things really simple in my trading and I don't do anything... Um, all that fancy. In fact, I have built a career in trading, basically trading two patterns. Um, um, I started trading about 30 years ago. I had my period of lots and lots of struggling um, as I came up as a trader and then finally um, got it figured out, built an account large enough that I could trade full time. And I've now been doing that for 14 years. And um, looking at this pattern, you're going to say that it can't be that easy, but it really can be that easy. And I'm going to show you something, um, hopefully really simple, something that you can use right away to maybe help you find and execute those trades that can bring you profits. And and I call it the 3-8 trap. And this is the only side slide that you're going to see. We're going to jump right right to a chart. Now, Win Casinos is a is a position that we in Rightway Options have traded, made money on this one. And um Watching, uh, looking at this chart, you can see we have a very clean pattern. Now, this is how I look at most of my charts um, and most of my stock prices. I usually don't use uh, much of any indicators at all when I first take a look at a chart. What I'm looking for is the price, the price patterns, the candle patterns. And um, one of the patterns that I really love to trade is this, um, when a stock has been downtrending for a long period of time, breaks that downtrend and moves itself up um, in that trend, breaking through support levels, holding them as support. So let me show you this uh, pattern here. And there's a, if you, um, have not visited this channel, um, take a look at some of the videos in the public education area. There's some videos on specifically on this pattern right here. It's called the round of bottom breakout. And it's just a, a series of moving averages. I'm not going to go into the round of bottom breakout. I want to talk about the 3-8 trap. But this uh, started out as just that round of bottom breakout. And what I was looking at is just a simple break of the downtrend, holding of price support, and buyers starting to show interest in this trade. So what is the 3-8 trap? Well, the 3-8 trap, trap is just really three moving averages that I use. And honestly, you only need two. <laughs> and it's very, very simple. So I'm going to switch over to this chart right here. And what I've got on this chart, just so you guys can uh, kind of keep up here, is this green average here is the three exponential moving average. By the way, I'm on a daily chart. It works on any time frame. The, this pink line is the eight exponential moving average. And this orange line is the 34 exponential moving average. And what I noticed a long, long time ago is... Um, in my trading, what I did a lot of, and it's mistakes that I find all the time when I work with people as a trader, um, um, as, as a trading coach, rather than buying stocks at or near price support, it's the same thing I used to do too. I would wait for so much confirmation that the stock wanted to go up that I would inevitably end up buying it at price resistance. And then I would suffer the pullback in the trade, which is, you know, obviously very frustrating because I really had developed this complex feeling like um, somebody had to be watching me and my trading because every time I entered a position, I, 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 I suffered a pullback in the stock. And sometimes those pullbacks were so big that they would create a stop out in the trade. And I finally figured out that, it, you know, it wasn't the anything other than me making a mistake and doing it repetitively in the market. And this is one of those things that helped me resolve that problem. So you can see the price pattern here. We're looking at a stock breaking a downtrend. That's important to me. Breaking a downtrend, proving it can hold 
um, that uh, downtrend as support, and then we see buyers coming in to support that price. And we move up, we come back, we test a level of price support in here, and you can see we see buyers step up to support that price. And we build this nice, smooth, consistent trend. Okay, so the first part of my trading centers around a trend, either a trend up or a trend down. So I want, I want everyone to uh, be aware of that. N there's nothing fancy here. I'm either following a trend up or I'm following a trend down. And I trade two basic patterns. And that is if the stock is trending, I want to see prices moving up and then that pull back to uh, price support or trend very much like this, move up, pull back to price support and trend. Or I want to see the stock moving up and then a consolidation over to the trend, holding above a price support level and then I'm waiting for those entry signals into those trades. That is pretty much the extent of the patterns that I trade in the market. But let me show you how the 3-8 trap can help you with that. So I'm going to move over here to uh, this chart and with that three exponential eight exponential and 34 exponential what i'm looking for is just the opposite of what most people are looking for in charts um, we all know about you know running scans and things like that and everybody runs a scan looking for the chart that's already popping up that chart that's always sh already showing that bullish move in the market I do pretty much the opposite. Now, I do look for those buy signals before I enter the trade, but I like to set up trades ahead of time. And so I'm looking for that price pullback where we're holding these bullish trends and I'm looking for those entry points. So you can see here when we get the three pulling back to the eight, I can guarantee you there is a signal to enter a long trade right here. There'll be another one right in here, and there'll be another one right in here. And it's really simple to see if you uh, notice these moving averages. And so I actually search for this little pullback, this pullback toward the eight. Now, please keep in mind that eight can pull back or excuse me, the three can pull back below the eight exponential moving average, but I'm look and then cross right back above. But I'm looking for this trap zone this area where the buy signals could come into play. We're holding a trend, we're holding price, and everything is moving in the direction I wanna see the market go. If the market's moving up, I'm looking for uptrends. If the market's moving down, I'm looking for downtrends. Uh, pretty simple stuff. But let me turn the price action on here. Just show you a few candles on here. And very simply, you're gonna see where those buy signals as that three pulls back to the eight and buyers step up to pick up that trade, they're very evident right in here. So I'm trying to catch these trades in these pullback zones where the three either compresses back to the eight, the eight is continuing to trend, and I wait for that entry signal to come into play. So you might, you might ask, well, okay, that sounds great, but you're talking about you're watching the pullbacks how do you catch the entry into the trade well let me show you that as well i'm gonna go ahead and um, remove that price because i can i can tell you i could honestly make money consistently with this chart and no price candles on it at all because it's so very descriptive of what's going on in price. It's showing us very clearly what's happening here. So these pullbacks toward that eight exponential set up the opportunity for potential trades. So what I do, I'm gonna go back over here to what I call my naked chart. And I'm gonna show you a couple of charts that um, I'm actually looking at. So for example, Pan W. Take a look at Pan W here, and I'm gonna remove this line. And you can see this has been breaking that downtrend, holding an upward trend, and then we really started this nice, smooth move to the upside, okay? So you see how this little compression area here, the stock is consolidating over toward the trend. When that occurs, what I want to do is I want to set a price alert on the chart. I want to wait for that trade to come to me. I don't chase the trade after the stock has already popped. 
I want to wait for that trade to come to me. Again, the problem I used to have with a trade like this is the stock would pop up and pull back. There's no way I would take this because I'd say, well, there's all this price resistance here. They tell you you can't buy anything below price resistance. But all of those rules change when you're when you're trading a trend. If a stock is going to trend, it must break price resistance and you have to trust that it will do that. And the cool thing about entering trades like this is your stop loss is very close. If you enter this trade right here, your stop loss is right underneath where those buyers stepped up. And it's a very simple thing to trade. So if you look at the 3.8 trap right here, you're going to see that three pulling back to the eight and that price action starting to produce that buy interest right here. So we get those low risk entry points in a trade. And that repeats itself over and over as a stock trend. And once again, I'm either trading that move up and that pullback or that move up and that consolidation. So here's the move up and the pullback there's the entry. Here's the move up and the pullback and the entry, the move up and the pullback and the entry, the move up and the consolidation. And I'm waiting for the entry on this trade. I want to see that buy signal come into play here. So if I take a look once again over here at my uh, naked chart and I'm looking for those buyers someplace in this area because we're fairly close to this trend, right? I'm looking for those buyers to step up, follow through and push me up through there. So I alert myself to a trade right here. Okay, and I can enter that position and then just follow that trade up. My stop loss in this trade is very close, very tight, not an expensive trade to take. And um, I take advantage of the trend that's already established in the chart. Now, I mentioned um, when right at the beginning. And I want to go back here on when and have you notice where these price alerts are placed. So I'm doing just exactly what I what I'm. Uh, talk about I'm looking for that move up that pullback in those buyers to come in here so I set a price alert and I make the trade come to me the buyers have to step up into the trade here's the next move and the pullback and then buyers step in right in here the move up the consolidation over and then buyers step in and we push these trades higher and higher and higher as long as that continues. Now, it seems awful simplistic, I know, to to show you this, but I can show you hundreds and hundreds of charts that do just exactly that and they do it over and over and over in charts. Um, and it's a very, very simple pattern. And if, whoops, excuse me. And if you can learn to follow just that very simple pattern or search for this pattern right here, you've got a great opportunity to enter a trade. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in the description of this video, I'm actually, if you use TC2000, I'm actually going to attach um, in the description, um, the the scan code that I use to identify this pattern. Um, it's it's not that hard to do. It's a very very simple code, and you feel free if you're using another platform to um, to re uh, re engineer it for any other platform. But you can see how simple and clean and easy this is to follow. Um, am I trying to get rich on every single trade? No, I'm not. In fact, I'm I'm a I'm a basic swing trader, um, and that basic swing just works really well here, and. Um, and most of the time I'm trading daily charts, but I get the question, would this work on um, shorter term charts? And the answer to that is yes. Take a look at a stock like um, Crone. Crone is um, one of those um, uh, marijuana stocks that's been moving really, really well. And you can see those price patterns in here. We get this longer pullback eight or three crosses below the eight and then right back up so you can see we hold on to that 34 exponential trend right here and buyers step up right in here crossing that three right back above the eight and then look at this beautiful move up 
Three pulls back toward the eight. We rest a little bit, buyers pick it up. Three consolidates a little bit over toward the eight, buyers pick it up. And on and on and on on this daily. But what if we take a look at a short term chart, like a 15 minute chart? If we look at a 15 minute chart, does the pattern still ring true? Now, obviously, there's much, much more noise in a 15 minute chart and lots of things going on in a 15 minute chart but you can see this pattern does play out here even on the short term we get that move up that consolidation over in that compression area that consolidation over in the trend and then buyer step in here and move that trade on higher now let's take it to a weekly could we do something with a weekly Let's go to something like, I want to show you a, a chart that was just amazing last year, Microsoft, and I'm going to remove some of these, some of these lines, but in Microsoft, does it work on the longer term? Well, I think you'd have to agree that it works on the longer term as that three comes back, consolidates over to that eight. We get those compression places or pulls back and crosses back right here. And we get those nice little moves up. Notice how smooth and simple that trend is in the trade. Now, not every ch chart's going to look that smooth. Obviously, let's take a look at like SQ. SQ, we can see that same pattern. We get these moves. This is a weekly, remember. We get these break points where we pop above, move up, pull back toward the eight. Buyers step into these areas. We consolidate over to the eight. We move up. We pull back to the eight. We move up. We consolidate over. We move up. So all of these patterns here just continue to repeat over and over and over in the market. OK, now another thing I want to um, express when people talk about a pattern like this, they oftentimes leave out some details that I think are important um, in this. So I'm going to remove the price action on here just really quickly to give you the concept of amplitude of a move. When we see um, a moving average separate itself like this three moving average separate itself a long ways away from the eight exponential moving average. If you're in a long trade here and you get that separation, you need to be thinking about taking profits because the high probability at that point is for that pullback to occur. Large separations from different different moving averages give you that signal that we're probably getting overbought in that area. So we have the eight exponential getting this major separation from the 34. We know that the high probability that soon a pullback is likely to occur. And we want to watch and wait um, uh, for um, good signals to take profits or exit those trades and protect our capital in the move. So always pay attention to the amplitude of these moves. When you get a price action move that separates out really far, we know that the high probability is that we are going to find a pullback point in there and we're going to bring in this back to a normal or what I call reversion to the mean. We're going to come back to the mean um, in that in that price action and just revert back um, to test support levels and test trends. So here we have um, here in SQ on this weekly, you can see there's that move up and here's this consolidating move right now that's going on in SQ. If I were to put the price action back on the chart, you're going to see that we have a chart literally setting up for this move on the weekly right now. This pullback, this compression, this holding of these moving averages, all we need to see is that bullish signal in here for this to move up. Um, once again, if I switch this to a daily, you can see um, on the daily chart, it works exactly the same way. We move up through that 34, compress over. You can see where the buyers step in. We get the pullback and you can see where the buyers step into that trade. So trade after trade and time frame after time frame, it works. It also works exceptionally well in a downtrend. I'm going to remove price here again just to show you this. If we cross 8 and the, and the 3 cross below the 34, we're in the wrong side of this trend to be thinking about any long trade. So when we're looking long, we want we want the moving averages to be lined up like they're supposed to be. When we're thinking short, 
we want to make sure that those stocks are um, lining up on this side of the chart doing the things that we want to see and we see those cross crossovers we get that big move up we cross back over the eight and then cross back down right in here is a great failure point cross back up cross back down and right in here would be a great failure point and we're just looking for those failures where we run up and test that eight and continue to fail all the way down in that trend until we start showing those signs of support. So it works going up and it works going down and it gives us those real simple clues. When when should we be looking long? When should we be thinking short? And it gives us the ability to plan trades ahead of time and be patient to wait for the signal. We don't have to speculate. We don't have to um, rush. We don't have to gamble on a trade. We wait for the signal to produce and then we enter that trade and you're going to find a higher win-loss ratio when you do that. Now I know a lot of folks are saying, well, you know, this, this signal probably shows up in the market all over the place and that's true. Now I, I am normally a, um, I, I do stock swing trading, but the majority of my trading is option swing trading. And so what I do is I work from a watch list and I just pull this list from um, the CBOE. I'm just looking for a list of very high quality stocks that have good quality option volume. I don't want to waste my time looking at stocks that have very little volume okay in options it's just I, I don't have time for it I'm not interested in it so normally I have a watch list of around 300 stocks you don't necessarily have to have a watch list that big but um, a watch list of around 300 stocks that I am always sorting by these criterias okay and you can see right here I have a sort in here it's called the 3-8 trap and all I do is sort my list by that 3-8 trap and I'm looking for those stocks that are trending and I'm getting those compression points those areas where I may actually find good signals in a trade CVX moves up see how we're pulling back we may be getting that compression point coming into that trade uh, Baba Bob has just been doing beautifully here, as you can see, moving up, compressing over, up, compressing over, up, compressing over, up, compressing over, up. And here we are again, getting that little compression. But here's one thing I want you to pay attention to. Um, this is wonderful. Don't forget about your 34 exponential moving average. And notice that we have a big separation here between the 8 and the 34. And what that can mean is we could slip out of this trend and do a little bit more of a either a pullback to come back and test that 34 in here or we consolidate for a longer period of time so that 34 exponential can catch up so we always want to watch that amplitude in these move moves same thing is true in a down move as you can see when we overstretch that down move we get that big separation from that 34 we know we're probably getting oversold and we're going to see those bounces back um, in those positions oversell and come right back oversell and come right back so those are pretty normal price patterns um, in that trade so I'm not I'm not looking for every stock in the market. I'm running through a list of stocks that I know have good quality uh, price action in them. And then I just simply wait for the entry into the trade. Literally make the trade come to me by placing that alert on those trades and making those trades come my direction. Okay, so here's one um, on Roku. Um, there was an entry signal on Roku right in here. Okay, and if I go back over here to this chart, you'll see there's that pullback over to the trend, over to the three, and that buy signal showed up right in here. And we have another one showing up right in here. And if we look at the price action chart, there you go. All of these things continue to pr produce that kind of trade. Now look at this pullback right here. This pullback right here, maybe holding on to this support, finished up today with a little bit of a hammer pattern here on the candle. I need to follow through to a hammer. So consequently, I set a price alert right here. I want to see those buyers pick this up in the next few days, pick this up and push that through there. Give me a signal that they want to continue this trend to the upside. And 
and by the way if I go over here to um, whoops excuse me to this chart you'll see we're getting that compression pulling in here so those are a great way to look for your stocks and get those real simple entries into a trade I've got um, alerts on um, this stock um, OS OSTK this one's a little bit different but you can see that same pattern right in here we move up consolidate over into that 8 exponential moving average and looking at the chart there's that pattern that move up that pull back over toward the trend and then buyers come in here pushing us up giving us that low risk entry into the trade let's take a look at Nike here Nike has been moving up and I've been moving alerts this was an original alert here again here's the break of the downtrend the stock moves up we get that compression that pullback buyer step up there's my alert into the trade so let's take a look at what that looks like on this chart and you can see right here here's that move up and then that compression over toward the eight and I'm looking for that entry signal here and you can see it's occurred again and it's trying to occur one more time up here if we go back to this chart and I'll show you some additional here's a current alert I have on the chart waiting for this entry to come into play right here um, in the trade so compressing over and just waiting for that trade to come to me so guys I hope this was helpful I hope it made some sense to you on how you can use um, just a very simple pattern and that repeats over and over and over and that's really one of the keys is to find a pattern that repeats itself over and over and over and then just continue to exploit that pattern over and over and over it's just a wash rinse repeat kind of trade where you're looking looking for that pattern to occur those buyers coming into play you're waiting for that entry signal into that trade signal triggers enter that position you have a low risk entry into the trade and then it moves away from you now please understand not all of these trades work there are there are failures in this pattern just like everything else no guarantee on this but this is a very high yielding pattern and it just repeats itself so much in the market that it's easy to find and identify it's really good for swing trading um, day, daily stocks it's good for swing trading intraday stocks it's great for longer term position trades um, in those weekly patterns so it's just really really productive and a pretty simple pattern to learn and to search for so once again I will share with you this code here give me just a second I'll I'll show you what that code looks like this is what that code looks like it's there's nothing fancy here in this code um, and all I'm looking for is I'm just looking for that three pulling back uh, toward that eight in a nice trend in a trending pattern and so I will leave this code for you if you use TC2000 you'll be able to drop it right in and start looking for stocks that way if you're looking for um, 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 that in another charting platform or something just decipher that code a little bit have somebody re reverse engineer it for you and use it uh, because I just find this this pattern to be so successful and um, and it just over and over and over uh, makes really nice profits so um, hope that was helpful hopefully you guys got something out of this now if this is the first time you've seen uh, these videos and what I do here in hit run candlesticks right way options please do me a favor could you please click on the subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up button and leave a comment that really helps those algorithms show these videos to more people and it helps me out a lot I don't make money from these videos and my purpose is to not make money from these videos it truly is to help other traders and to share what I've learned with other traders out there um, I like to use the term traders helping traders and that's what this channel is all about and so if you find this useful if you make some money with it share share that let us know um, if that's going to be very helpful to you and you know pass it along um, we want to help others uh, do better with their trading and see those profits come up I can tell you this pattern if you're patient and wait for it will produce a very high win-loss ratio Everyone take care, have a great day, and we'll talk to you all very, very soon.